Yo, what's up, boys? And welcome back to another video. Uh, you guys might see some weird things outside, including a Ford Mustang. But also, um, something which a lot of people have asked me, when is it going to be added, Lewis? Zombies. Everyone wants a Daisy mod for a Reforger, and today we get our first ever Armory Forger zombie mod. No, it's not perfect, okay? We all know it's not perfect, but it works. In fact, we even open up doors, just like, just like real zombies. So I wanted to give you just a, I guess, a little sneak peek at this mod because it literally came out a few hours ago. I'll have the actual mod on the screen right now, along with the author of it, Rico. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, you can go ahead and do so. You just need to download it. And then if you go into the Game Master, you will then be able to spawn in under the zombie faction, a bunch of zombies like so. And then you can play around with them and uh, see how they work. An interesting thing that a lot of people don't seem to even necessarily know about this game is you can actually melee. So if you middle click, you can melee. Uh, if a... Uh, I don't know if my character. Am I like turning with a zombie or something? What's going on? Can you hear my character? Oh my god. Why is, why is glass being smashed? Uh, yeah, my character might be turning with a zombie right now. I, I don't actually know. I don't think that's a feature, but he doesn't seem very happy right now. This is super early on, but it is cool that this creator managed to actually, from what I can see, create custom sounds, um, models, full models. And also, I think there might be some custom animations here because of all you can melee with middle click. You actually can't melee unless you've got a weapon out or, or a grenade grenade out. In this case, you can melee with a grenade as well. Um, and I think maybe a pistol as well. But if you go ahead and drop your weapon and then pick it back up, you can see all I've got right now is my fists out. I actually can't middle click anymore. So I don't know exactly how Rico's managed to create this mod, uh, but I thought it was really cool. And um, it does, of course... Um, kind of hop on the thing I've been saying over and over again. Reforger has a lot of potential. Even looking at uh, something which is really, really cool here, the weather effects. You guys might have seen this already, but you can see in this window up here on the second floor, we have actually rain coming through this window because it's smashed. If we shoot in our window, in this window, and in this window, and this one, and this one, you'll see no longer do we have window on or, or uh, rain on the windows. But we have the rain actually coming, you can see, because there's so much uh, wind right now coming kind of horizontally through that onto the desk if we go on the game master as well and then look at the wind speed we can change that of course to whatever we want and then if i go back in game you'll see the rain is no longer coming inside because it's it's rain pretty incredible right uh this is my first time actually like playing around with this mod so i really don't know how good uh the zombies work i mean you are kind of standing here right now and doing not much uh we're gonna go outside and, and go try to drive around my ford mustang and see what happens though uh, also, that, that bug you just seen a second ago, that's, uh, oh, it's not happening anymore, but the scope bug, oh, that one right there. Yeah, that's something we have talked about and uh, hopefully we should fix. Let's go ahead and go outside though and say hi to the zombies and see if we can get an off-world Mustang and maybe even run some over. Because I am also using a, um, a ragdoll mod, which allows for a lot nicer ragdolls. Uh, I will have a link to, or well, not a link, but because I can't do that with, with Armory Forge, but I will have a list of all of the mods which I am using in this video in the description below if you do want to go ahead and try it for yourself. I spawned quite a lot of these fellas, but um, I don't think it's going to be too hard considering their AI. I've heard a lot of people say the AI in Reforger is just like really bad. Uh, it's not great, but I would also say it's... You'd have to play around, it, around with it a bit more to understand uh, truly if it is good or bad. I think um, in this case, it's not a case of, you know, Reforger's AI being bad. I think it's something that probably Rico needs to change with this mod. Alright, uh, let's clear out around my Mustang and get in them then. What are you guys doing? Am I on a zombie team of, of the US uh, in coots with a zombie? Are you guys ready to get run over? Oh yeah. One sec, I need to turn off my um my hazards. There we go. It's no longer a hazard here. Right, I think we'll spawn in like maybe I don't know, hundred zombies quickly, run them over in a Ford Mustang, and see what happens. Because I'm sure someone out there is curious. Uh, the best way to spawn in a million years things, by the way, is to hold control. When you're spawning in things, you can spawn in um, as many things as you want then. So, I mean, I can I can do that with anything. I can go on, like, you know, I don't know, Soviet. I'm not going to do it, but if I hold control, it can then spawn. I'll just show you a demonstration right here. Um, oh, maybe I was spawning in the wrong zombie. Wait, I might have been spawning in the wrong zombie the entire time. Just spawn in, like, a few of these fellas, so. There we go. J j just a few, just a few. My AI guy's got out, and he's, he's pretty angry now. Are you guys angry now? No? 
All right, how about if I run you over? Will you be angry then? Ultra realism. Is this what you guys wanted, right? A zombie mod, right? I mean, this is how things are, though. A lot of people seem to think like, oh yeah, once we added a zombie mod, it'll, it'll be a bit of daisy mod really quickly. Um, people need to, you know, first make a custom model, uh, first make custom animations, first make um, custom sounds and, and all these kind of things. And, and once people have done that, then they can work out how to enhance that experience. The creator of this, Rico, does of course want to um, add more detail to these. And I think he did say he spent so far 70 hours working on these bad boys, believe it or not. But this mod is the first of its kind. I've never seen so far a faction that is a completely custom model like the zombies are right here. So much like this vehicle that I'm driving right now, the Ford Mustang, this is I think the like the third mod vehicle ever added. This thing is very uh, buggy, the interior looks horrible, but it's the first of its kind. If Rico isn't the one who makes a great zombie mod, then someone else will, we'll see. Think about driving with zombies this fast, it might like make the game crash to be honest, but we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> okay, maybe don't drive in between the zombies. Let's give him a good old shunting. All right, boys. Oh yeah, we didn't like that one bit. There's a zombie on top of my car now. Oh, so we can actually play as the zombies. Oh, okay. I didn't think to try that out. So how do these guys work then? Yeah, so you can see if you can melee because it looks like they technically, it's probably some kind of like, kind of hack. Unarmed melee. This is the current implementation of unarmed melee. So technically, zombies actually have a, well, like a weapon that isn't a weapon or something, I guess. Because you can see it's in my one slot right now. If I drop it and then pick it back up, I probably won't be able to melee, I'd imagine, or maybe I will. No, I can't. So because of that, I need to press 1 to now equip my non-existent weapon, and now I can melee once again. Now he's dead. And we can steal his weapon in his boots. Wait, what happens if I put on clothes as a zombie? One. Attack and target. That's pretty easy. Okay, let's put on his shirt, see what happens. Um... Not much. Doesn't look like we can put on his clothes. Oh, we already have like some clothes, but it looks like they're like invisible. Oh, it works. Yeah, so I think these are just like invisible. Maybe it's something to do with the way they spawn in the zombies or something. Maybe we have to have uh, clothes, but we can indeed dress up as an American zombie. So that way we can blend in with the other Amer American zombies and become an American. You know, American dream, blah, 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 blah. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So according to Rico, one of the reasons they're so janky is because we actually can't hear gunshots and we can only hear footsteps. Uh, I don't know the ins and outs of exactly why some of the zombies will run and some of them won't. I've messed around with the tools a bit and the main issue right now is they're just, the tools are too in depth, uh, which maybe you don't think is possible, but with the tools being so in depth, plus the lack of documentation from Bohemia right now, it means that people are really just discovering things uh, one step at a time. If you look back at the initial launch of Armor 3, you'll find similar things with early, super early zombie mods, just like this one, where they are extremely janky. But as people work out the do's and don'ts with modding, things will rapidly improve. And ultimately, the core experience people are creating here is something that then can very easily be ported over to Armor 4. Armor 3 zombies, for example, you can't just copy and paste, uh, let's say, uh, Ryan's zombies and demons over to this. Otherwise, we'd have zombies a week ago when Reforger first came out. Uh, it's not that simple, whereas when R4 does come out, this mod, for example, will be something that you can essentially copy and paste because they're the same engine. That means people have got years to make amazing mods and to understand how these tools work until Armor 4 comes out, which means R4's launch should be pretty good in theory, assuming Bohemia can sort things out before then. God, that sounds good. I actually forgot who sent me this video. Oh, I know the Smoking Bro sent me this. Uh, so thank you, Smoking Bro. But I can't remember who actually made this mod. If you made this, let me know and I'll add in the description who made this mod. But it's not out right now. I didn't just want to show zombies today because there are, well, there's one other mod I want to, or two other mods I want to show you guys quickly as well. This one is, of course, an M107 with HE rounds, I believe, tracer rounds and normal rounds as well. All of it sounds just incredible. And this is through the power of their new audio editing tool, or at least the sound side of things is through that, of course. So how, how, what can we change of this, though? We can change the DB. All right. 
Don't change your DB, guys. I can't recommend enough. If you do own the game, just go open up Armor, Reforge your tools, and open up the World Editor, open up the audio thing that I'm playing with here, rescale things, just mess about, and you can see the power of all of this software. It's just not easy to use, but it's not it's not, not easy to use because it's bad. It's not easy to use because it's too in-depth, like I said before. And hopefully you guys can see that with your eyeballs right now as well. I, I you know, with my zero modding experience, uh, managed to just quickly rescale a building and jump around in it and, and have a bit of fun with it. Uh, there's just so many things that you can do with these tools, which you just can't see in even Daisy. This brings me to the next mod I wanted to show you guys quickly, which is a waterfall mod because, well, that's something you also can't do in Daisy and Armor. Just an incredibly simple but effective mod, which adds some uh, some particle effects that just make a relatively convincing waterfall effect. With this and with the kind of not really new technology of Reforger, but the possibility of having relatively decent looking caves, uh, we can expect to see some custom maps with waterfalls, which might have caves behind them very, very soon. And you can also see the flowing rivers being used at the top to really make the waterfall that much more convincing. In my last video, this guy who has a avatar of a sideways shit car called me cringe, and the cringe guy, me, managed to work out how to open this on the editor, and I messed around with it and kind of understood how it worked. A particle effect at the top to make the waterfall happen, some particles at the bottom to make the froth at the bottom happen, and uh, that's the cool thing about this. You guys can download any mod and open it up, uh, open up a world, edit it, uh, ruin it, do whatever you want with it. If this cringy guy can work it out, you can work it out too. I'm going to wrap up this video though and leave you with one last interesting mod, which is the fourth ever custom vehicle and also the first ever, I think, full set of clothes that I've seen on any mod in Reforger. Hope you guys enjoy. If you aren't already, make sure to subscribe and drop a like if you guys would like to see more videos like this one. But uh, yeah, let me show you guys the last mod. Postman Pat, what the fuck is this? Postman Pat. Dude, I wonder if a cat's in the fucking car. Uh, I think, is Postman Pat mostly a British thing though? Or do Amer I don't think Americans have seen Postman Pat, right? I think it's not an American thing. I think. So if you guys don't get it, you don't get it. It's basically, it's a, it's like a kid's TV show about a, po a postman, uh, sorry, a UPS driver. <laughs> UPS driver called Postman Pat. <laughs> I don't think you guys say postman in America either, right? You probably wouldn't say that. Oh no, where's the cat? So, oh. Oh. So yeah, if you know, if I didn't know what that was, I didn't real, I didn't know. Okay, we need to put, we need to put fucking the cat in the passenger seat. So yeah, he's got a cat. What's the name? Postman Pat. Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Oh shit! Is this the wrong side? Oh, it is, dude. Look. But yeah, he's got a cat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Oh shit! Postman Pat's got an F16. <laughs> Very Amer American of him. Oh jeez. Is this a? Uh, Oh, this is an actual bag. Dude, look at this. I mean, his hat's kind of like flowing off. That's cool. That's cool. What is this? Are we, all these letters? Wait, what the fuck? Dude, what's going on with a fucking car, pussycat? What's going on? Why, why are the wheels like in its ass? And we'll give it a shot. All right, you strapped in, pussy cat. Meow. Maybe this might be my fault. Let me let me check. Yeah, this one's fine. Maybe it's a passenger that's fucking it. No, no, I think I think that one's just fucked. <laughs> Dude, let me in. Okay, I guess I can't go in. This is perfect. I mean, keep in mind though, I, I only there's literally only three actual custom models for vehicles in the game. Well, this is a fourth one. The other three were the Mitsubishi, the G Wagon, and the this one's wonky as fuck. But I'll say that. And the uh, what was the third one? Uh, Ford Mustang. So this is this is the fourth ever. I know. I'm pretty sure. Uh, modded vehicle.
Dude, I'm I, I'm scared of what's gonna happen if we if we handbrake right now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna like fly. <laughs> Holy smokes, guys! Yeah, it's definitely like very similar to a UAZ. Like other vehicles were more custom. I think that someone took time to make this. I mean, I don't know, if 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 I was a mod, I, I understand what you're saying, like, someone made time to make this piece of shit, but... Once you're done, and like, you've got a car, and you've got your black and white cat, like, you're happy, I don't know. I don't know what to say, like, I know it's like stupid, but... It's it's perfect, I mean, it's got everything. Even M16, I remember M16 and Postman Pat, do you guys remember, remember Postman Pat? Going around with M16? <laughs> yeah, special delivery. <laughs> It's me, you UPS driver. <laughs> Don't put the cat down, dude. I'm not executing the, uh, Jess or whatever the fuck a cat's called, okay? I'll be toxic. Just kidding. Yeah, we are, dude. Fuck Jess. All right. Wait. Oh, fuck. That. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's just for cat. Oh, that's me. What? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoops. Where's the fucking cat? How did I move me instead of a cat? Oh, I'm so fucking stupid, dude. All right. Fuck the cat. There you go. Fuck off. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck! Um. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, don't execute the cat, guys. Do not execute the cat. <laughs>